guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Jerdman and this is Jerdman's Beginner's Guide to Weight Loss. Uh, if you don't know who I am or what I'm doing, uh, I'll put my link up above with my story. Uh, long story short, I lost 82 kilos last year on a man shake with a complete lifestyle change. And I've decided to do a beginner's guide on weight loss in case you're feeling a little bit lost and don't quite know what to, where to go or what to sort of do. Um, just with tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Anyway, that's basically a basic rundown. Uh, if you want to get me on any of these socials over here, you can get me on those. I do a bit of Twitch streaming. I'm now a Twitch affiliate, so if you've got a spare Amazon Prime sub, come into Twitch. Come and sub to the channel in Twitch. Uh, I do a few different games, mostly sort of chilled out games, nothing too strenuous. Very relaxed, always happy to answer questions. So if you want to come along and have a look and you're a bit bored one night, pop into Twitch. Anyway, on to the episode. This week I'm going to do uh, health trackers. I get asked a lot about how I've tracked my weight loss and exercise and all that sort of stuff. So this episode is going to be on that. So first thing is you want to get yourself a good set of scales. When I started uh, my journey, I didn't actually think I was going to weigh myself. I think I was that scared of jumping on the scales that I thought, oh, I don't know if I want to weigh myself. So I didn't weigh myself for the first three weeks and I regret doing that. So I recommend getting a good set of scales and get some Bluetooth scales. Get some scales that will give you other data than just your weight. Now, I don't know how accurate they are, but I know that as I lost weight, the numbers were in red, body fat, uh, visceral fat, BMI, which I don't quite believe in anyway. I think but BMI is a little bit skewed. Um, sorry for the noise, too. Um, and they give you all these little details, which helps you a lot when you just, you don't have to rely just on the numbers of, on the scale. You can rely on all the different other little factors along the way. So they're very helpful because if you're not quite seeing the numbers you want on the scale, there could be other things that are dropping and you'll slowly see them go from red to orange to green and it's a really uplifting sort of feeling so I'll put my current stats up here and when I started they were all red and as I dropped the weight all the other stats have come down with it so it really gives you a good sense of accomplishment and you know that you're doing it you know you're achieving things so a lot of people get bogged down just looking at the numbers on the scale but this gives you other measuring sticks to go with so I found it really beneficial. And you can get, get my scales, the Renfro ones from Amazon. I think they're about 35 bucks at the moment. Um, but yeah, they, they've got an app on your phone that Bluetooths to the scales, and then that app feeds into what I use is Samsung Health. The, the scales feed into Samsung Health, which records all your stats in there. And then, um, so I've used Samsung Health basically a long way too. And you can track everything. You can track water intake, calorie intake, you can track everything on that. You can put in your meals and all that sort of stuff too. I did that for the first little bit, but once I sort of knew on average how what I was having and could uh, work out a rough calorie sort of count per day, um, I didn't sort of bother with that too much. But you can track a lot of stuff in that if you've got Android and Samsung. That's really handy. And speaking of Samsung, uh, the Frontier watch, S3 Frontier. It's the older watch. I think they got the new Galaxy watch or something, but. I got this one cheap at Harvey Norman um, last year and can't recommend it enough. It records your steps. I can get a little golf app when I go play golf and it will give you the GPS and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it does heart rate and measures our workouts. I took it swimming when I was training for that triath triathlon that it never happened. Um, so that's really handy and that also syncs with my Samsung Health as well. So I've got the scales and the watch that both sync into my one Samsung Health app. I know Apple's got all their sort of bits and pieces, but I can't I can't talk about that because I don't really know anything about that. I'm I'm an Android boy, so. Um, but yeah, the Renfro scales are really good. You can get them on Amazon, and I can't recommend the the S3 Frontier enough. The watch, uh, really handy. Um, it's got Bluetooth, and yeah, like it's, it's I keep it pretty basic. Like I don't like like it with everything. Like I keep it simple and basic. So I think as long as you've got like a set of scales, and ones that give you more information than just the numbers. Because um, you can see the progress, it's great. Like, And the Samsung Health app is great, because you can go back. Like I can, if I chat to someone new and they say, oh, I'm currently at 150, I can go back and see when I was 150, and then I can tell them that, look, I was 150 back in, back there, and this is what I've lost per month. So I'll put up a, I'll put up a few of my months there, I've got, uh, I don't actually know they're inside, but I've got, uh, I think, February 
maybe July, maybe November, and then maybe March. I don't know, they could be wrong, but I'll put them up there and you'll see as they've slowly progressed, you can track all that. So body fat and all that sort of stuff. So really handy. Um, and that's basically it. It's a pretty, pretty short episode. If you've got any good fitness trackers or any tips or tricks or items that you use for your fitness journey, please put them in the comments below uh, and get the word out about it. Let, pe let other people know. So that's my main takeaway, is get a set of scales, get a set of scales that measure more than just weight. You wanna see the other stats. It gives you more motivation. And get a good, you know, get a watch or a Fitbit or whatever else and you can track your steps. The other day I think I looked and I've done something like a million steps or something since I've had the watch. I think it was a million or 10 million or something. So it keeps track of all that, it's great. And you get a real, you know, occasionally I'll just, I'll just do my, I'll just check my heart rate. Like, I'll do it now, I'll see if I can do it now, quickly before, let's, uh, let's see. Let's go, heart rate, all right, let's go. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm gonna break my arm, okay. We'll measure heart rate. It just measures your heart rate, see? How sophisticated is this YouTube? Look. There we go, we'll go upside down. Watch it come back, it'll come back saying it's dirty or something, you watch. Guarantee it. This is exciting, how good is this YouTube? Riveting. Let's see. Yeah, the lens needs cleaning, see? I've got to clean the watch. Anyway, so that's one thing. You go to the gym and you get a bit of sweat there and that, you gotta clean it every now and then so you can record it properly. But um, I think last last check was like 63 bits, beats a minute, which is a lot less, because I used to lay on the lounge and I could feel my heart just pumping, pumping. And I was doing nothing. And now that I can sort of be a little bit active and I'm still only like 60, 60 to 70 beats, like it's, it's, it's crazy, it's amazing. So anyway, that's it. Uh, like I said, um, next week, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll do something. If, you've, if you're interested in anything, let me know. I know I had a few people this week ask about what apps I was using, so that's why I've done this episode. And I want to do a quick shout out to Daniel and Brando for popping in and seeing me do some stream. It was great. It was great to have some uh, familiar faces in the, uh, the old Twitch chat, so that was really good. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, I'll be back next week for something else. Anyway. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Send me an inbox if you want to know anything. I'm always happy to chat. Anyway, have a great weekend and I'll uh, catch you next week. Take it easy.